in this video we will discuss the delayed branch which is the fourth solution of control hazard so in the when we are getting the branch structure we are getting one stop okay so to improve the performance or to remove that one stop uh, we re, we do reordering the instruction so that the independent instruction we can put after the branch instructions so let's say r r1 comma r2 r3 branch equal to r4 r5 thousand let's say multiply r7 r8 r9 okay so if you uh, draw the time phase diagram so how many clock cycle clock cycle it will take eight clock cycle okay it will take eight clock cycle okay so because of there is a one stop here it is a one stop so our job to improve this to improve this is to minimize the stop or to remove the stop so what we can do so we have to put one instructions here okay to minimize the stop so this place is called what delay slot delay slot okay so let's say i after the instruction reordering i put this add instructions to here that means how to look like branch equal to r4 r5 thousand r r1 r2 r3 multiply r7 r8 r9 okay so how many uh, clock cycle it will take it will take eight clock cycle so it will take sorry five plus to seven clock cycle seven clock cycle so that means here we are getting the one stall but we are taking not stall because so here when we are getting one stall i just take the previous instructions to here okay so that means independent instruction independent instruction can put into delay slot okay so there is three mechanism to put, to take the independent instruction and put into the delay slot okay so as you know the branch has three parts so from before branch let's say branch equal to r4 r5 thousand and these are the from calls to and target let's say some instructions are there these are the target so i can bring one instruction from here or i can bring one instruction from here or i can take from here to put here where into the delay slot this is the delay slot okay so there is three ways to do the delayed branch so i can bring the instruction from before or i can bring the instruction from first row or i can bring the instruction from target now so when you are taking the instruction from before you have to and this is that branch must not depend on the rescheduled instruction okay means branch instruction must not depend on the rescheduled instruction if you are taking the instruction from first row that means it must be okay to execute that Execute the residual instruction if branch is taken. Same way, if you are taking the instruction from the target, okay, then it must be okay to execute the residual instruction means the, that we have taken from the target if branch is not taken. Okay, 
So this three concept will be discussed through the example. Let's say I have a set of instruction like R R one R two R three branch equal to R four R five thousand, and after the branch instruction, it is a delay stop. So from before concept means I will take the instruction from the before branch. So you can see branch instruction is R four R five. It is dot dot depend upon this. Okay, so I can bring this instruction into this. That means R instruction is writing on R one. Not R four and R five. If it is writing into the R four or R five, then we cannot reschedule it. Okay. So now, if it comes out, this R instruction you can put into the delay slot. Now, of the second type, that is from false two. Okay. I can. So this is the example. So in the delay slot, I can read the instruction from false two, and this, and this one. We put it to the delay slot, so which will pick up this one. Okay. Now from the target, I can I will bring the instruction from the target part. Okay. From the target part, and this instruction I can put it to the delay slot. So it will pick up like this. So there is a three ways to do the delay branch. Now I will show you another example to understand clear regarding the delay branch. So uh, now I will show you that which instruction will bring into the delay slot. Okay, from before, from false slot, from target. Okay. So so from before, which one you can take? So the residual instruction must not. Sorry. Now I will show you which instruction we bring from into the delay slot. From before, from false slot, from target. Now discuss the from before. So in this, the concept is the branch instruction must not depend the residual instruction. The branch instruction is R seven and R ten, so R seven and R ten it cannot reschedule into the delay slot. Okay. Now there is option is two, one and two. Now, so here instruction two is depend on the instruction one. So instruction one it cannot bring into the delay slot. So there is one option from the before that is second instruction that is subtract R four, R five, R one. R six, okay. Now set. Now this is from the false two, okay. So in false two, it is writing on R fifty, reading twenty to sixty, okay. So the concept is what the instruction you can bring from false two to delay slot if the target if it executing the target part that is branch is taken, okay. That means branch. The instruction, uh, the, the instruction present in the target, but must not depend upon the residual instruction. Okay. So now check if you are writing, if you are doing R15, if you are taking the R15, then it is here R15 is the dependent instruction. So you cannot bring. Understand? Why you cannot bring? Because it will bring to here, and let's say your branch instruction is. Uh, it's taken. That means you will execute this part. So when you execute this part, you already written into the R15 because this instruction you have taken into the delay slot. So when you delay slot, this R15 will get the wrong value, not the actual one. Okay, so that's why you cannot bring this one because of here you are writing R15. Okay, and here you are reading the R15. So this instruction you cannot bring. Okay. Now see. So here we are writing on R17. So no instruction is writing a reading R17 here. So you can bring this one. And here you are writing on to R20. No instruction is reading R20. So you can bring also this one. Okay. So from the first row, I it either you can bring subtract or multiply. Now comes to the target part. From target part, which instruction you can bring? 
R22, R23, R24. Whether you can bring this one or not. If you are bringing this one, so what is the concept? First concept is if you are rescheduling the instruction and the branch not taken part must not depend on that. Okay, it must not read that register. If you are bringing this register, let's say R22 is written here. Okay, you are bringing this instruction to here. So that means R22 is updated. But in let's say you are executing branch not taken, that means you are executing this for false through. So here you will see that you are reading R22. But R22 is already written because of rescheduled instructions, which will get the wrong result. So that's why you cannot bring this instruction. Okay. Just analysis part. On the instruction really, the independent instruction if we will go put into the digger slot. Now comes to R25, R26, R27. You are writing on R25. No instruction is reading R25. So you can bring. You can bring it. Now R28, R15, R29. So we are writing on R28. So no one is reading R28. So you can also bring it. Okay. So in the delay slot, you can put from before that is two. From first row, either you can bring seven or eight. So from here, from target, either you can bring ten or eleven. Okay. So this is regarding delayed branch.